A newly opened vape and smoke shop on Lake Avenue in Rochester is drawing criticism due to its location directly across the street from an elementary school. Isabel Garcia has been looking deeper into what zoning regulations are in place and talked to the district council member about efforts he's now taking to make changes for the future. This smoke and vape shop called Mad Flavors recently opened its doors on Lake Ave in Rochester, and the location sits directly across the street from school number 42, an elementary school. Now, the city of Rochester just informed me this week they recently learned the location is selling cannabis, and the store has been issued a cease and desist letter. Now, in the meantime, the council member who represents this area tells me he's looking into how to get ahead of these kinds of issues. It's obnoxious. Um, it's not what the community wants. They've spoken up numerous times. I believe they don't even have a permit to be operating there. So the signage is not permitted. The business is not permitted. Um, the community has real concerns. Councilman Jose Pio represents the Northwest District, where Mad Flavor Smoke Shop opened its doors for business on Lake Ave. Shops like this becoming a trend the council member finds to be rapidly growing in his community. We got three smoke shops, uh, maybe a mile that way. So we have quite a few smoke shops in this community already, and it seems as if the smoke shops are the new bodegas, where it's just going to pop up on every corner. And that's not what we want in this community. That's not what we want in the Northwest. On November 16th, the city of Rochester responded to inquiries from News 8 confirming this business has two code violations, lack of required business permit, and a business sign unapproved. The city also told us this week it recently learned Mad Flavors was selling cannabis, which remains illegal unless granted special licensure from the state. We have recently adopted zoning laws that would allow businesses, once they are licensed by the state as dispensaries, to then sell at certain locations within the city of Rochester. There's no limit to the number of the same kind of businesses that can open an area according to zoning laws right now in Rochester. Councilmember Pio is looking into what, if any, powers district representatives have when it comes to new business proposals. When a business permit comes up in front of us and says, in front of the city, and they say, hey, I want to open up this kind of store in this area, I want the district members to be able to say, you know what, we should be able to have the final say in our district of what businesses go where because we are just right now allowing everything and anything. The council member does tell me he is planning to introduce legislation to give more control to district representatives when it comes to zoning decisions. In the meantime, Mad Flavors has not granted a response to multiple calls or requests for interview or a statement. For now, reporting in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Thank you, Isabel. The city's Corporation Council tells us with much of the regulations surrounding cannabis coming from the state, the city is now looking at classifying dispensaries as retail stores, whereas consumption lounges would be under bars and alcohol. The state currently has a 200 to 500 foot distance requirement for churches and schools for marijuana dispensaries.